नमस्कार वेलकम टू द अनदर एडिशन ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इन दिस एडिशन आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्रेडिट ट्रांसफर मल्टीपल एंट्री एंड एग्जिट एंड रेगुलेटरी प्रोविजन्स क्रेडिट ट्रांसफर इज ए प्रोविजन और फैसिलिटी टू कंसिडर द नॉलेज एक्वायर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्रेडिट्स बाई ए स्टूडेंट एट द सेम लेवल इन कस्टमाइजिंग हिज और हर डिग्री प्रोवाइडेड द कंडीशंस ऑफ द डिग्री अवार्डिंग इंस्टीट्यूशंस आर सेटिस्फाइड यू जी सी हैज नोटिफाइड एकेडमिक बैंक ऑफ क्रेडिट रेगुलेशंस टू प्रमोट स्टूडेंट सेंट्रिक एंड लर्नर फ्रेंडली अप्रोच एकेडमिक बैंक ऑफ क्रेडिट इज ए बैंक फॉर एकेडमिक पर्पजेस ऑन द पैटर्न ऑफ कॉमर्शियल बैंक्स फॉर फाइनेंशियल पर्पजेस विद स्टूडेंट एज ए एकेडमिक अकाउंट होल्डर इट गिवस फ्रीडम टू स्टूडेंट टू सेलेक्ट द बेस्ट कोर्सेस और कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कोर्सेस टू सूट देयर एप्टीट्यूड and quest for knowledge it also facilitates to choose a pace for their studies along with the associated logistics and costs a student can tailor their degrees or make specific modifications or specializations rather than undergoing the rigid regularly prescribed degree it also enable multiple entry multiple exit to complete their degrees as per their time preferences academic bank of credit shall deposit credit awarded by the registered higher education institutions for courses pursued there in academic bank account of the student in the interests of students credit earned and deposited with abc shall be valid for the purpose of redemption to a degree or diploma or postgraduate diploma or certificate for varying duration as specified by the credit awarding and credit accepting higher education institution subject to a maximum duration of 7 year credit transfer at same level can also be done through mous between two institutions for example one institution can be an engineering college and other can be a sports institution imparting graduate degrees further if a student has acquired some credits through moocs then the credit equivalence can be decided by a committee of experts as per the institute curriculum it will be difficult to define a definite rule educational institutes may innovate the way in this regard with the sole objective that learning of the student is rewarded suitably now let us understand the concept of multiple entry and exit its implementation and regulatory provisions credit transfer and multiple entry and exit are closely related multiple entry and exit allows the student to be their own decision makers and can resume their learning from the point they left in between and help them to achieve their career goals in life flexible learning is important to choose one's academic pathways leading to the award of certificate diploma and degree there are occasions when learners have to give up their education midway for various reasons may be financial health or even interest multiple entry and exit gives the flexibility to the student to resume his studies in defined time period from the point where he left he can also enter to some other program at the same level and the receiving institution has to identify the knowledge gaps for the program and accordingly courses can be prescribed to bridge the gap this gives the flexibility 
to the student to pursue his education in the field of interest only. As UGC has announced the national credit framework NCRF, even the students of the vocational education can enter the mainstream education and vice versa. In NCRF, levels have been prescribed for each year of learning. 10th standard is at level 3 and the 12th is at the level 4. Each year of learning is enhancing the level by 0.5. If a student is exiting after completing one year of a four year degree program, he may be awarded UG certificate if he is willing to do some extra credits of his skills. If he is exiting after two years, he may be awarded UG diploma if he is willing to do some extra credits of skills and so on. The credit transfer and multiple entry and exit have removed the boundaries of mainstream education and the vocational education. Now, nothing is extracurricular. All form of knowledge acquired in the form of credit is curricular. Well, that is all for now. I shall be back with some more input on NEP 2020. Stay tuned. Namaskar.